action, round robin, all five players will play each other. That is right, and you see two of them are already up there, Amir on the left, uh, and Mike Z on the right. You might know Mike Z also because he is uh, working on Skullgirls, which is a game coming out uh, at some unidentified time in the near future. Uh, great fighting game he's working on, but before all that, he was a top player in a, in a few games, including Street Fighter 3, yes. Third Strike. Yes. Uh, his, his Makoto is crazy because he tends to go with Super 3. Right. And if, if you don't know that much about this game, uh, her Super 1 and Super 2 uh, are both, you know, just dependent on matchups. So those right. are the ones people go with. Super 3 is a little funky. And that's because it makes it so she can't block, but does more damage. <laughs> and in this game, you can parry, so not being able to block isn't the end of the world. But it's still very weird. On the other side is Amir. Amir is an extremely strong SoCal Chun-Li player. Uh, in, in all of the last Evos, he did really well. He could easily be considered one of the, maybe the best there it is. in the country. Uh, yeah, I absolutely think that he could be considered the best chun in the country. Definitely, definitely among them. Oh, was, oh, in the corner against Makoto is extremely dangerous. She has huge stun and huge damage, and nice juggles over there. And it might even be worse sometimes if, if Makoto is in the corner because she grabs you with that, and she has super hard too. She can dizzy Chun Li and kill her straight out. Of course, we did mention though if she has uh, super hard three. That's not going to happen here. Right. Oh. Alright, so he gets he gets the parry. Nice. And now, this is not where you want to be. Oh, okay, there has invincibility. It does have invincibility on startup, but yep, there you go. Amir smartly just activates uh, the lightning legs just to hit her instantly to, make, to cover that invincibility space for Makoto. And are they are they playing uh, two out of three each here? It looks like it's going to be two out of three round robin. Okay, cool. That means we'll get another chance to see this. Awesome. Suddenly, uh, Look at this. And actually, do you oh, see yeah. that? You can see all those little stats that you can build up while you play. That's right. This, this game is an excellent, excellent fan service game. Right. Definitely the, the best fan service uh, fighting game release <laughs> that I've ever seen. Look at the nice new digitized uh, versus screen art, too. Yep. And high resolution there. It's got, uh, here we go. And, and this is actually being played in the in the fancy eyes resolution itself. And it looks really nice. It does. I'm tell you that. So, all right, Makoto getting right in there. Mike see oh, great parry there yeah, from he, here. You saw it. I mean, oftentimes you, you, can, you can throw out downs and towards um, in a range where it's kind of safe, and it's sort of like footsies without right. buttons. And, and, and Chun-Li is perhaps probably one of the most dangerous characters up close. To. She has the only two great normal moves in the game. That's Crouch and Jab. Yep, and she has one of the farthest character throwers. That's right. So but mixing between those and the ever so dangerous low medium kick in the Super Art 2. That's right, yeah. Her, her footsies are extremely good because she has... Oh! Really? No, I, I don't know. I mean... I mean, it's I would doubt it. Fast uh, Amir because he's got great reactions. Yeah, I would doubt it most of the time, but with Amir, I might right. actually believe it. Yeah, you really have to watch out. She, she cancels into super or leaks into super from uh, almost all of her normals. Right. Nice play there. Yeah, I mean, Very important that, you, that you're mixing up low attacks and high attacks. Yeah. You can't get too predictable with either one. Yeah, in this game, you really have to concentrate. It's like, you have to have a meaty sequence that's stuck that All right. low and a meaty sequence that hits All big. Big. There you go. You can cancel out of the close roundhouse, but instead he goes for this. Now it's in the corner. That super's an auto corner from anywhere. Oh, wow, he made it out. He backed right out of his throw range. What a great bait. That's going to be it for this game. Yeah, Chun-Li standing roundhouse is actually a super jump cancel, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. The super. That's right. It's not actually a direct cancel into the super. You have to super jump cancel the standing roundhouse. Amir takes that soundly. It's so funny too because I mean, I, I like I said, I expect that from Amir mostly because I've actually been playing Amir in Street Fighter since he was like six years old or something. Yeah. And the whole time I've been playing against him, I swear, he, <laughs> I used to get mad at him and call him random all the time. But you know, it never really was as random as I'd like to have said it was. Oh, and up next is Ryan Fubarduck. And I also want to point out. The excellent uh, button config screen. Yeah, we got the We got the good config sequence where you just tap the button that you want to use. And uh, there's actually, you can access the button config screen on the character select menu screen. 
uh, I don't know which button you have to push. Um, I'm sitting right here next to Derek Neal, sitting next to me, so if you see me stare over, I'm right, not yeah. talking We're going to be asking questions about the game. But um, in the character select screen, you just hit select button or, so, or the back button. Right? Select, select or back on Xbox. Uh, gotcha, and then it just brings up the config screen, so you can config it right from there. That's that's really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy really that, that they put that in. Yeah, I mean, it's really exciting to me these days that, you know, the fighting game community has been around long enough that members of the community who have been playing this game for so long are now the people responsible for making the games. We talked about Mike Z yep. making Skullgirls. I even want to point out that Derek here, he finished second place in Glass Blue in the exhibition tournament one year here at Evolution. So Derek, and, and he's also made combo videos in the past too. That's right. I mean, there's also, of course, uh, Seth Chalian. Um, oh, yeah. I know Mike working at Nether uh, at Netherrealm. Right, and Derek just told me that he was an SBO qualifier for Gloss Blue as well. So, all right. Yeah. Up next is going to be Ryan Fumar Duck, who has. Uh, I assume he's going to go with Chun. I know he also plays Yan, but I guess we'll see. Maybe just for character variety. I guess we'll have to see. Whoa! Check that out. What? This, that was the select character from the from the menu. That's a move list. Oh, this is a move list. This is a move yeah, list. That's the new features. <laughs> That's a really cool move list there. Yeah, they're trying everything out here. That's really cool. See the fancy new character art. And one of my favorite things about this game is turning on the uh, the arcade looking mode. What do you call that? Oh, arcade monitor mode. Arcade monitor mode. So it's, it looks a little bit uh, like the RT ish. And it's got the scan yeah. lines. Scan lines. It, it's like transportation <laughs> back eight years. Oh, wow. Fubar Deck is going to go with Dudley. Oh, Dudley it is. Awesome. Okay. All right. So this is going to be entertaining here. It looks like Mike T is going to be the first person to run the gauntlet. Oh, goes for a taunt right away. Interesting. But unlike most games, taunts actually do stuff in this game. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's, really, that's one of the really cool features about this game. Uh, some taunts, like Dudley's will control space. Some, like Jews, will give him extremely uh, uh, buff. Durable, yeah. yeah. Some will deal extra damage. Some will get rid of stun. Some will deal more stun. Cool. Nice. And All that could right. be it here. No, oh, it can delay. Oh, this is Wow, oh, crouching gears to end it. Alright, so round one goes to Fubar Duck. Dudley. Alright, strong, strong start here again. You can put her all the way into the corner. No, again, this is the Ducky. I mean, Dudley, obviously, in Street Fighter 4 is a very mix of heavy character. And it's not very different in this game. Oh, no. Oh! And he goes for Super. He knows that his opponent can't block. He's going to have to parry the whole thing. Right. I mean, Dudley's main strength is when he knocks you down. He uh, really puts you a true 50 50 mix up. He either goes for the overhead link to the Super or low, sh or low short, low short, and he cancel with a Super. Right. And, um,. You know, different Dudleys will play either Corkscrew Glow or Rocket Uppercut, which are the two Depends most on the matchup, yes. Right. So one is more frequency, the other one obviously is damage, but both of them have the same, very much the same utility in that mix-up. They both combo right. off of the low short, both combo over the overhead. Nice opening jump roundhouse for Mike Z. Yeah, he's trying to get in there this time. Oh, no, a little bit too far away. I mean, Needs a big punish. Makoto does have a... Oh! Oh, leaves him right there. That's a mix-up. Yeah. Oh, and it goes! Watch his stun meter. That little red light underneath the health bar. That's stun. Oh, oh almost, so almost. Dudley with one of the longest stun meters. Most other characters would actually That's be it. done. If he hits this. this. Yep. There you go. He doesn't need to do this. Needs to go meter. Yeah. Already had the full bar. Yeah, after the Hayate, Makoto is right next to the opponent. And it becomes a really annoying mix up of another right. or another low short and, and the thing is a lot of characters if they jump out of that you can't back that it's really interesting most characters anyway right. if, if you jump out of it she can recover in time to deal with whatever you're jumping in. Right. Right. and she might even just do a low short into another high attack and catch right. you before you even jump exactly oh nice alright two more jump match point here versus a Mike Z Alright, opening throw for Mike Z. What's he got for mix-ups here? Oh, he saw it. Oh! Got him in the roundhouse. Now he's got him in the corner. No super, but still very dangerous. Great block there for Mike Z. Is he going to activate yet? No, not yet. He's going to save it for just a little bit longer. You can use it 
with in offense during combos or defense when you get up because of that large oh, nice. visibility window. Well, he's very, very, very important in this game, and you can see there, Dudley has an excellent awesome stand around us. Yeah, and the nice thing about that activation there, you can almost use it as a preview window with Makoto because of the amount of invincibility you have at the startup. But not gonna work. And you can actually see on the side too, they have like little goals that you can compete in. And it says like, you know, perform this many three hit combos and such. And as you play, those will build up. And you can right. turn those off, you can leave those on, you can do all sorts of crazy things with the side bars in this game. So, yeah, definitely, uh, I mean, Normally, a lot of people, when they release, re-releases and remakes on stuff like the PlayStation Store or like the Xbox Live Arcade, a lot of it is, you can call them like cash-ins. Like they just phony. put them out there, yeah. They just get them out there as quick as possible. Right. I have never seen this much love I, I, put I'm into a re-release. It's the biggest fan service fighting game ever. <laughs> it really is. I think it really is. It really awesome. is. I mean, uh, there's all new trials in this. There's parry trials. There's combo trials. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really crazy. This is Alex Sanchez. Uh, he knows more about this game than any human I've ever met. Um, it, it's, it's insane how much he knows about this game. He's broken things down. In fact, just a couple months ago, he told me he learned something new about Alex that he never knew. <laughs> so he, he's been playing Alex for forever. And he's known for going for DDT. And people always say, how does he land DDT? He's not turned under it. But people somehow will always stand up into it. Well, one of the things is that if he ever does the stop move, you have to stand up and block it. So if he cancels stand medium and stop and gets oh. accustomed to that, he'll just end up... Oh! And in this game, you can do stuff after you win. Oh, that's like right. this, that courtesy <laughs> dunk. Oh, wow. It just caused the Pierce to beat Dudley standing Pierce. Now! On the boot, Alex uh, made top eight in Evo uh, last year. I or no, when last year it was here in Team, people had stopped caring, as he says. Right. Uh, and he actually won a prop bet at the start by going with boot, and it hit, and he won $100. <laughs> That's right. Oh, nice. Oh, once again, because he got stopped. Stop again, yeah, I was going to say. Going to stop. Kubar Duck saw it coming. Barely caught him with that EX rocket up for good, actually. Right, if that, had, if that had been the roundhouse stomp, I think that Alex would have been safe, but that, that wouldn't have hit. 